When you try to walk on the football field at every D1 school in the country, a few of them are gonna surprise you, and this is one of those cases. Today, I'm at Davis Wade Stadium for Mississippi State. In my time checking out these stadiums, there is two factors that are 100% correlated to what the security is gonna be like there. One, how urban is the area your stadium's around? Two, how high profile is your stadium? Davis Wade doesn't check either of those boxes but they still have the most threatening signage on every gate that I've seen at any school so far. Basically, if I try to get in here right now, I'm gonna get trespassed to the fullest extent of the law and I'm gonna be put on video surveillance. I don't really want those problems, so I'm not gonna push my luck too much today. I'm just gonna walk around the stadium a little bit and see if I can find someone that can authorize me. Starting with the three NFL players highlighted outside the main entrance, Chris Jones, Darius Slay, and obviously, Dak Prescott. Here's some more gates, some more signs threatening my arrest. Illinois driver's license, Fox 300-2909. Where are you from? Are you from Illinois? Yeah, I live in Chicago. Chicago? Yep. I lived up there for about four months. Really? Yep. How was it? <laughs> and what do you know? The one time I don't even touch a gate is the one time I've actually gotten the cops called on me out here. From what I was told, someone saw me filming the stadium outside and thought I was filming license plates, so they rose some concern. I know I'm doing nothing wrong today, so to me, that's just a chance for someone with authority to hopefully get me in this stadium, but they didn't budge on that either. But anyways, back to the stadium. The other thing surprising me about Mississippi State, I do have to give them credit. This is actually a prettier campus than I thought it would be, especially with some fall leaves still up in the south where it's a little warmer. Right here is the best view of inside the stadium I've gotten so far. And there's a handful of people over here. They might be able to help me. Here's a quick glance I got at the 300 level and what on earth is going on right here? Listen, I've seen premium seats get added to a lot of stadiums, but these are like the worst seats in the house. What are we doing? I need to see what this looks like inside the stadium because from that angle, that just looks like a monstrosity. Oh, wow. And as we turn around here, the police station's connected directly to the stadium. All this makes a lot more sense now. Looks like there's a few more buildings that are connected to, or at least close to connected to Davis Wade through this corridor here too. There is one more entrance back through here, but they're all the same. There really is a healthy amount of cars around here. I can't believe I'm not seeing more people. Here's another really nice entrance too, which has the state of Mississippi in the cement here. It's broken up by county with all of the county's names and a ring around it. I do really like this touch. These lights are on. Do these automatic doors open? Damn it. Here's the last round of gates at Davis Wade right here. And yeah, I think we're cooked. Well, that's a bummer. Let's check out this baseball field because this looks bigger than any one that I've ever seen. I think this is going to be locked up too, but just looking from the outside, this is just a different setup than a regular college baseball field, which of course includes a natty front and center. Can't confirm this is locked all the way around, and this is probably the best shot we're going to get of this place, which is a shame because this is the size of a AAA ballpark easily. This is huge. Is that an apartment complex that's built into it too? That has to be for the team, right? Maybe we got something going on at the hump next door. Yeah, you heard that right. Mississippi State actually calls their basketball arena that. The door beyond this one is open. Maybe this door is open too? Yeah, we're good to go. Hate to be a little punny, but it feels good to get one through the hoop. Let's roll through this concourse. See you guys, I told you. Welcome to the hump. Men's team's doing some warm-ups on the court, so. Won't be getting any further than this, but I did find a few friends to watch with me. And walking through the concourse, I found this atrium that looks really sweet and I believe has the facilities right under it too. Love the threads, looking good. This leads us into an auxiliary gym that is the first thing we've seen here that looks plenty open. Everyone's on the main court for practice. Might as well put this court to use too. Give me that. I live pretty far away from Starkville, so. It might take me a bit to get back here, but hopefully we can make this right someday. Mississippi State, thanks for having me.